Hello everyone, welcome back to Football Manager 2017 with Newcastle United and we are now the other side of the January transfer window. We're looking to really nail down our form a bit after a really inconsistent first half to the season. And as you can see, the 11 that we're lining up with for the away match against West Brom in the league, everybody has a 7 point and above rating Um which is usually my yardstick for a good team. Uh, Morton Simonson on 7.99 leading the way. He was player of the month last season. I'm hoping he can continue that uh, in this episode. We've got four, uh, yeah, four league games and an FA Cup fifth round match against no Southampton or Nottingham Forest. And we've also got that big Champions League knockout round match against Monaco. We're away from home first and then we'll get to go and bring them back to St. James's Park where hopefully we'll be able to turn over any deficit if we have one from that game. But first things first, we need to take on West Brom. We're not in too bad a position in the league. If we win this game, we'll be five points behind Chelsea, which is not insurmountable, but we really need to get our form back on the kind of point it should be on. Um, so the team today is pretty strong. Simonson, Origi and Sane, the front three, Melagoni, Kovacic and Cook make up the central midfield area. And then Lucas, Almanza, Mamana and Chambers across the back four. Ward tries to play the ball over but Chambers intercepts brilliantly. Kovacic gets ahead of the West Brom player. Now Sane cutting in from the right finds Melagoni. It's Simonson in a good area. He likes to strike from there. Instead, it's a 1-2 with Sane. And what a finish that was from Simonson. That's nine goals already and he's just lashed that into the top corner past Saria from the tight angle. Cook has robbed Bufal of the ball now. It's a Rigi on the left flank. He's having a little charge forward. He's lost the ball to Witzel though. I've not been impressed with the Rigi lately. Almanza, however, plays the ball forward. Witzel's got it off Simonson, but the ball keeps coming back to us. Now it's Sane. Kovacic to Melagoni. Can he find that pass to Simonson? It's cut out by a West Brom defender. Back with us again, though. Chambers forward to Sane. Can he get the ball in? He's cutting inside. Still going, Sane. Still going. Good save from Saria. Lucas sends the ball crossfield towards Sane, who's fouled by Ayala, and we've got a penalty. Melagoni with a chance to make it 2, and he does score this one for 2-0. Kvasic with the corner. Ayala heads it away, but Mamana back in, and there's Sane to drill it into the bottom corner, and this game is surely over now, his 10th of the season. Corner from Quilbolas, and there's Thiago Augusto at the far post. He's nodded it in from close range. Cook finds Simonson, now Origi. Across to Kovacic, who can strike them. Instead, it's Sane to Simonson, who is not going to miss a point-blank effort like that. His 10th of the season already for us. He is such a good signing. Bufal running down the left flank. Cuts inside, still going Bufal, and he's got a man free in the centre. Thiago is not going to miss that. It's 4-2 now. Oh, Origi's got a goal. I thought that was going to be the full-time whistle then, so I didn't bother commentating, but Chambers swung it in, and there was Divock Origi for five. And now I think the full-time whistle will go. It's been a very comprehensive win for the team. A few defensive lapses apart in the second half. A very good performance, and Simonson is really showing his value to the team. He is the best £20 million signing I have ever made, without doubt. We now have to take on Leicester at home. Um, we've got Baba Rahman back from the Africa Cup of Nations, so the left flank is back to normal with Lucas moving into the centre, so Almanza drops to the bench for now. Cook is still in defence midfielder, Rabiot Kovacic ahead of him, and it's that front three of Origi, Simonson and Sane. Uh, now Z, Robert, uh, Z Gomez rather, has come to me again and said that he wants to leave, so I've put £40 million on him as a price tag. If somebody comes in with that bid then I will accept it, but I'm not going to look to let him go, even if he gets unhappy. I don't think he has that much sway in, this, in the squad to really get unhappy, and I think that by the end of the season, I can give him enough get, uh, game and playing time to stop him from being unhappy, but we'll just have to see how that plays out. I'll let you know if any bids do come in for him, but I'd really like to keep him if we can. Boga plays the ball through, and Sanabria is through straight from kickoff. That catch all save is the first time we've touched the ball. Roberts cutting in from the left flank. Finds Sanabria. He's put it just over the bar. Caballero. Now on Guerney to Grealish. 
He's tackled by Baba Ram and it's good to have him back on that left flank. And the ball's put over the top by Simonson. He's found a Ryu, cuts inside the defender, shoots, and it's just saved by Zila. Simonson with the free kick, and he's hit the crossbar. He's done that a number of times with his free kicks since joining us, but Adrian Rabio is there to touch it home. Rabio dinks the ball forward, and Simonson's got onto it. He's in a good position. He's tried to lob the keeper, and I think he's just clipped the crossbar with that effort. Robertson has put the throw in. Simonson is charging at the Leicester defence. He is tackled by Congolo, but here's Lucas forward to Rabio. He puts the ball over. Origi's in behind. He can pull it back, and there's Sane, but he's hit the post. Sanabria has been played in here from Palacio's clearance. He goes for goal. Ketchell pushes it wide. Sane has been released by Cook on a counter. He plays it into Simonson in a good position. He hammers it hard and low into that bottom corner. Sane running across the defender finds Origi in a good position and he's hit the base of the post, but it's gone in. It's an own goal, I think, from Zila, although Congolo is the one who smacked the ball into him, but we've put the cherry on top of the cake here. It's three now. There is the full-time whistle. That uh, Zila own goal just add in a bit of gloss to the performance but it was a very good win from the team we close the gap on Chelsea to just two points at least temporarily we're now out now eight points clear of West Ham so it's between us and Chelsea for that final fourth place spot unless some of the teams above them do drop points the Champions League is back in action and we are away against AS Monaco. I'm expecting us to get through against Monaco and reach the quarterfinals, I think, for the first time in this series. You can maybe correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, but we've got Simonson available to play in the Champions League because we signed him from Napoli and they weren't in this competition, so he is not cup-tied. And it means that he can lead the line with Origi and Sane as usual. The same midfield is in there. Um, Callum Steele's had to come in at left back because Rahman is injured. He's picked up an injury since the last game. So Mamana, Chambers and Pinheiro make up the rest of the defence. The defence is a bit weak because we have um, both Almanza ineligible, Lucas suspended and Baba Rahman injured, which is not a great little combination. But at least two of those will come back in the next match if we get there um, or when we get there. Um, but I'm hoping that the defence will still hold up. It will be interesting to see how Pinheiro and Steele get along in this competition. But I'll be happy with just a score draw. Even a goal is fine if we lose by just one goal. But a win is what we're after. Origi nods it on to Simonson. He needs to play a good pass. Or Kovacic. Instead they play it around midfield. But it's still come for Simonson in a better position. There's Leroy Sane in on goal. And in the goal, it's 1-0. Leroy Sane smashing that home, ghosted in, and got the finish. Leroy Sane switches flank brilliantly to Origi. And there's Simonson in on goal and scores on his Champions League debut for us. 2-0 now away from home, and we are thoroughly in control. Heredia switches flank with a beautiful ball out to Pavon. And he's fouled by Callum Chambers and we've given away a penalty. Monaco have barely threatened, but they're getting a chance back into this game. Pavon's going to step up and he's found the bottom corner. It's 2-1. Martinez sends the ball over. Pavon's there. It's come out for D'Alessandro. He finds Sidibe. Now Martinez has given it away to Cook. Can we launch a counter-attack? A third away goal would really help. Z Gomez charging forward. Loses out to DuPont. And DuPont's given the ball straight to Kovacic, who hammers it into the top corner. No hesitation for Matteo Kovacic, who gets our third away goal. Scott Orr has managed to keep the ball. Now Melagoni, through to Z, Z Gomez. He sends it out to Pinheiro. Now Kovacic back to Pinheiro, that was an awkward one too, but he's kept it. Scott Orr back to Melagoni who hammers it in for 4-1 and we are surely in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Heredia slips it in for Martinez, he pulls it back across and what on earth happened then? I think that was Mamana who made the mistake, he just let the ball hit him and Martinez is able to touch it home. 
That is an exceptional away win from the team. Monaco are going to need to beat us by three goals to nil to overturn this deficit. We are surely now in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. The FA Cup is a very realistic trophy prospect for the team after that win against Monaco. If we get through against Southampton at home, we will be in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Some of the big teams have already been knocked out, the likes of Manchester United especially, who took us out of the EFL Cup on penalties. Um, so I'm hoping we can get a win, which is why there's a strong team out there. A few players are back in the team, such as Almanza and Lucas in the defensive area. But everywhere else is the same as it was against Monaco. I'm hoping for the same scoreline if we can get it. Malt tries to take on Lucas, but he loses the ball. Now Rabio to Kovacic. He's going to look to ping one diagonally, I think. He's just holding on to it, and he's lost out to Freeman. But Sane's won it back. No foul given. Ball into Simonson. Back to Cook. Now Rabio looking for that slick pass, but Oscar's won it from him. Origi into Simonson. Can he find that pass? He does. It's Chambers who whips it in towards Simonson who touches it home for 1-0. Kovacic plays the ball to Sane. He sends it across to Chambers who sends it into Simonson who's hit the crossbar and he can't get the rebound in either. Kovacic sends the ball out wide to Chambers. Leroy Sane cuts inside the defence. Plays it across to Origi brilliantly, who holds the ball up and hammers it, drills it into that bottom corner. Simonson's free kick, he's gone for goal and he's found that top corner. He has been in a few free kick highlights since signing for us, but that's the first to go in and what a free kick it was. Owens with the corner into Asano and I think that took him three bites of the cherry, but he does finally tuck it home to Kuma Asano. Uh, it sounds a bit like Akuna Matata to me. 3 1 now. Rabio finds Correa or Correa. Now Lucas chips it into Rabio's head. Rabio still with it, pulls it back, and Zeke Gomez lashes it into the top corner for 4 1. But Rabio is offside, it won't count. There is a full time whistle. It's a very good 3 1 victory for us against Southampton. Well, it means that we're now in the FA Cup quarterfinals and Morton Simonson is already amongst the top scorers for the FA Cup. Well, our last two matches are away against Spurs and then at home against Chelsea. Two very big games if we're going to qualify for the Champions League. I just want to quickly point out the upturn in form that we've suffered uh, or encountered since we brought in Simonson. And it's making me pretty confident that what we were really lacking was a goal scorer up front. We've gone on to win the majority of our games. One of the defeats was on penalties. The other one was at home against Liverpool. We also drew at home against United. Um, but we are beating all of the smaller teams. And that was our chronic problem the last few years. And I think it was just that we didn't have a striker of the quality to put those teams to the sword. We did just have Divock Origi doing that when he scored about 40 goals in one season. But it's been a while since he did that. And he's been really off form ever since. But I think Simonson is the long-term solution to our striking problem. And I think he's the next Alan Shearer, he said confidently. Um, but we'll have to see how he gets on. In the league, we are now just two points behind Chelsea. They lost their game in hand, so we've managed to close that gap down from quite a considerable margin. Uh, with 12 games to go, I'm confident we can overturn them and maybe even catch up the likes of Arsenal and City. The United, <laughs> United are definitely too far away. Five... Uh, they'd need to lose five games and we'd need to win five in order to be able to catch up to them. And that is just not going to happen. But we need to beat Spurs, otherwise Chelsea will move further ahead of us. Um, it's a strong team going out there. We've got Raman and Lucas back in alongside Mamana and Chambers. Midfield the same as are the front three. Coutinho plays it over to Eric Dyer, who's got Guedes in so much room. He was always going to score. He just found this enormous pocket of space that our defence allowed him to have, and we've fallen behind. Corner from Kovacic towards the far post, and Mamana's there. The captain has scored. It's his third goal of the season, and he's brought us level. Babaraman 
Now Rabio plays it over the top. Origi's in behind. He's got players in the middle, including Simonson, who is never going to score with that opportunity. And we've turned Spurs over. It's already his 15th goal of the season. Chambers, he's found Sane, and Chambers can whip the ball in from there, which he does, and Simonson was at the near post. And we've come from 1-0 down at half-time to 3-1, and it's our top goal scorer, Simonson, who's done it. See, Gomez finds Origi. They're trying to drill the ball into the box, but Tottenham are going to be able to come away unless they give it to Melagoni, and he's only just shot wide there. Mbolo. Slips it in and Felix has run behind the defenders there. That was a very clever positional run from Felix. And he's managed to give Tottenham some hope. Sane loses the ball. And Spurs are looking to get that equaliser with an instant goal. Instead, Leroy Sane can maybe play a ball over the top. He finds Gomez, who loses possession. Now Guedes can counter-attack. Cook's managed to intercept. Kovacic plays it over top. Melagoni of all people running in. He's got Z Gomez free in the middle. Pulls it across. There is Z Gomez, but into the hands of Lurie. Lucas, just a couple of minutes left for us to see out. But Valerie's going to clear that ball forward. And here's Breel and Bolo switching flank Brintley. And it's Coutinho, not the man we want to see in that position. Pulls it back. Eric Dyer back to Klaassen. And Melagoni heads it out. Now Z Gomez can counter. But Bernat intercepts Ruiz to Alderweireld. Cook plays it forward. Now Melagoni. Can he slip Origi in? He does. Origi's in on goal. Can he finish it? It's come back, but Larry smothers it. Felix, last second free kick. Strains the wall. Coutinho into the wall again. And there's the full-time whistle. We survived a late Spurs assault. And we managed to come back and win after being down at half-time. And that victory does move us up to fourth place in the league. We've closed the gap on Chelsea, who we play next. I have to say and just point out, I don't think I've ever been in love with a football manager regen before, but I'm pretty sure I am now. Morton Simerson has won Player of the Month for the second month in a row. And just remember that he only joined us in January. He's now won it both times. He's already our top scorer this season despite only being here for two months that's 11 league goals in seven league games 16 goals in 12 overall absolutely phenomenal and i'm starting to think that simerson is a reincarnation of alan shearer our final match of this episode is at home against Chelsea. It's been a pretty phenomenal episode, mostly thanks to Simonson. And it's worth noting that we are now secured fourth place. We're one point ahead of Chelsea. If we win today, we'll move four points clear of them with ten games to go. Lose and we'll be two points behind. It's a pretty crucial game in the race for fourth place. Arsenal and City are pretty far ahead of both teams now. They're going to be difficult to track down. But I think I would make us the favourite. Since we signed Simonson, we have moved on to a new level. And we need to prove it with a win at home against Chelsea. Kovacic to Rabiot. Playing quite deep at the moment. Mamana does switch out to Sane. He slips it in for Kovacic. This is a quick attacking move. Kovacic cutting inside. Plays it to Simonson. Little pass to Sane. He's hit the post there. Kovacic whips the ball in towards Almanza. He sends it in again. And it's caught by McCutcheon. Kovacic plays the ball out wide to Origi. He takes it to the byline. Pulls it back. And Simonson in the six-yard area. Tucks it home to give us the lead. Simonson. Plays the ball through and Kovacic is in on goal and Kovacic has smacked it through. That was such a quick counter-attack to make it 2-0. Simonson running at the Chelsea defence. Goes for goal and it has to be tipped over, I think. Kante plays the ball over. Lucas heads it away. Now Rabio sends the ball over the top looking for Simonson. It's run for Origi. He plays it back to Kovacic. Rabio in a good area. Has given the ball away and Diawara can play it over the top for Vland. He's a dangerous striker and he's in on goal. He's got players arriving as he pulls it back towards Kante. Chambers heads it out and Mamana's given away a penalty. He pushed Kante in that little melee. Hazard to give Chelsea a way back into the game. It does score and it's 2-1 now. Origi coming inside, finds Simonson. He takes a touch pass to player. He's still going, Simonson. Plays it out wide to Pinheiro. He can whip in a ball. 
Instead, he pulls it back to Kovacic, who takes an expert touch, finds Alexander-Arnold, who's fouled, I thought, but apparently not. Coco forward, and Voland can maybe launch something here. Kante into Hazard, and Ketchel with a good save. Hazard's free kick, and it's another penalty. Mamana with another push in the box, allegedly, and I can't believe that's happened twice in one game. Either Mamana or the referee is really messing up here. Hazard to equalise, and Ketchel saves it. Ketchel, who was in for so much stick earlier this season, has absolutely pulled it out of the bag for us. We just need to survive another 90 seconds. There is a full-time whistle, last-minute penalty drama, but we've managed to beat Chelsea and complete the overhaul of them. At some point, we're about eight or nine points behind them. We're now four points clear of them. And we are surely going to make it into the Champions League. Ten games left to see out. We're only five points behind Arsenal. I want to keep looking up the table if we can. See if we can get a top three finish. Well, that is it for this episode. It's the first episode this season, I think, where we've managed to win six games in a row. We have had a stretch of six wins before, but that was spread over two episodes. This time we've done it all in one. We've actually now won seven games in a row. It's our best run of form this season. Um... We've got quite a bit to look forward to as well. Next episode, we'll kick off with that second leg against Monaco. We'll surely make the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Then we've got Watford at home in the FA Cup quarterfinal. After that, we'll be taking on Stoke, City, Sunderland and West Ham. And it's not a bad run of league games. If we get past that City game, there's a lot of very winnable games before we take on Arsenal away. And if we beat City and Arsenal as well, we'll be able to rein them in and hopefully catch them moving further and further up the table. But that is it for this episode. If you're enjoying and brand new Alan Shearer Simonson, do leave a like on the video of uh, subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot to look forward to into the end of this season. But until next time, see ya.